the Stasi, or the Ministry for State Security, were the secret police agency of the German Democratic Republic. The Stasi was one of the most hated and most feared institutions of the East German Communist government. The Stasi developed out of internal security and police apparatus established in the Soviet zone of occupation in Germany after World War II. The law establishing the ministry, whose forerunner was the Commissariat 5, was passed by the East German legislature of February 8th, 1950. Four months after the establishment of the German Democratic Republic, the Stasi, whose formal role was not defined in the legislation, was responsible for both domestic political surveillance and foreign espionage. It was overseen by the ruling Socialist Unity Party. Its staff was at first quite small, and its chief responsibilities were the counterintelligence against Western agents and the suppression of the last vestiges of Nazism. Soon, however, the Stasi became known for kidnapping former East German officials who had fled the country. Many of those who were forcibly returned were executed. Under Eric Milkey, its director from 1957 to 1989, the Stasi became a highly effective secret police organisation. Within East Germany, it sought to infiltrate every institution of society and every aspect of daily life, including even intimate personal and family relationships. It accomplished this goal both through its official apparatus and through a vast network of informants and unofficial collaborators. They spied upon and denounced colleagues, friends, neighbours and even family members. In addition to domestic surveillance, the Stasi were also responsible for foreign surveillance and intelligence gathering through its main administration for foreign intelligence. Its foreign espionage activities were largely directed against the West German government and the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation. Under Marcus Wolf, its chief of foreign operations from 1958 to 1987, the Stasi extensively penetrated West Germany's government and military and intelligence services, including the inner circle of the West German Chancellor, Willy Brandt. The Stasi also had links to various terrorist groups, most notably the Red Army faction in West Germany. During the 1970s and 80s, the Stasi worked closely with the Red Army faction and cooperated with Abu Nadal, Ilik Ramirez Sanchez, commonly known as the Jackal, and the Palestine Liberation Organization. The Stasi also allowed Libyan agents to use East Berlin as a base of operations for carrying out terrorist attacks in West Berlin. Following the bombing of a discotheque in West Berlin, April 1986, that killed two US servicemen, the Stasi continued to allow Libyan agents to use East Berlin as both a base of operations and a safe haven. Soon after the opening of the Berlin Wall in 1989, the East German legislature passed a law to reconstitute the Ministry of State Security as the Office for National Security. However, because of public outcry, the office was never established and the Stasi was formally disbanded in February 1990. Concerned that Stasi officials were destroying the organisation's files, East German citizens occupied its main headquarters in Berlin on January 15, 1990. In 1991, after considerable debate, the Unified German Parliament passed the Stasi Records Law, which granted Germans and foreigners the right to view their Stasi files. By the early 21st century, nearly 2 million people had done so. Among the high-profile individuals who were arrested and tried were Eric Milkey, 3rd Minister of State Security of the GDR, and Eric Honecker, Head of State of the GDR. Milky was sentenced to six years prison for the murder of two policemen in 1931. 
Honecker was charged with authorising the killing of would-be escapees on the east-west frontier and the Berlin Wall. During his trial, he went through cancer treatment. Because he was nearing death, Honecker was allowed to spend his final time in freedom. He died in Chile in May 1994. This type of stalking still persists today. The techniques refined and the technology improved. There are millions of targeted individuals worldwide being tortured and killed by these terrorist organisations. Spread the word. Thank you.